April 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 11 and 12 from the Old Testament. In the Lord I have taken shelter. How can you say to me, flee to a mountain like a bird? For look, the wicked prepare their bows. They put their arrows on the strings to shoot in the darkness at the morally upright. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the godly accomplish? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes watch. His eyes examine all people. The Lord approves of the godly, but he hates the wicked and those who love to do violence. May the Lord rain down burning coals and brimstone on the wicked. A whirlwind is what they deserve. Certainly the Lord is just. He rewards godly deeds. The upright will experience his favor. Deliver, Lord, for the godly have disappeared. People of integrity have vanished. People lie to one another. They flatter and deceive. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that boasts. They say we speak persuasively. We know how to flatter and boast. Who is our master? Because of the violence done to the oppressed, because of the painful cries of the needy, I will spring into action, says the Lord. I will provide the safety they so desperately desire. The Lord's words are absolutely reliable. They are as untainted as silver purified in a furnace on the ground where it is thoroughly refined. You, Lord, will protect them. You will continually shelter each one from these evil people. For the wicked seem to be everywhere when people promote evil. God, thank you for your reassurances today. You know, I'm, I'm not speaking for just me. I know lots of people listening to this are in the same position as I am. I just speak from my position because it's what's happening at the moment. I am, I am fine. I actually do good when I'm being persecuted as a Christian. I actually really enjoy talking to people about you, even if their, their questions are antagonistic, at least they're asking questions. And to me, I think that's the most awesome thing. It's the people who don't ask questions I get a little bit worried about. I have no problem with the persecution part. Not from non-Christians. It is the persecution that we receive actually from the Christians or sometimes the people who call them Christians. I swear, God, sometimes Christians do more harm for Christianity than anybody else. I don't even know what to pray for. I pray for their hearts. I pray that they understand that while they're causing all this disruption and frustration and being antagonistic, I hope they understand that in order to deal with that, it's taking time away from people who aren't saved yet. People who need to hear about you. People, and maybe these people are the people who you need me to talk to as well. But God, I'll be honest, being persecuted by Christians takes more out of me than anything else in my entire life such an odd phenomenon we seem to be working towards the same goal yet it feels more like the lobster story where the lobsters are in the hot pot and they each pull each other down as they try and escape i don't know i don't know what's going on but where it says for the wicked seem to be everywhere where when people promote evil god i just ask that you put it into their hearts to understand we are on the same page we are working towards the same goal and that is to glorify you and being persecuted by your fellow man doesn't get us anywhere close to that. And in fact, if other people are watching two people, two Christians, promote evil or, or go after each other, it's completely tearing down your kingdom. God, you can hear how heavy this is on my heart. I just am broken hearted over how these people are reacting. And I just ask that whatever it is I need to do or I need to fix to change this, that you just show me that path. And I pray for their hearts, that whatever it is that they need from you to get back on the track to glorifying you and, and keeping focus, that that happens as well. God, I do know you're in control, just like these verses talked about. I do know that you reign over everything. I do know that we have a lot to learn down here. God, I humbly ask that you just teach me whatever it is I need to know 
so that I can continue to glorify you and talk to other people about you, people who need you. I love you so much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.